Hey guys, it's Mike from Mike's Custom Works, and I'm back with another fun one with the bulbs. I just found something out on my own. So, here's another cool little trick you could do as well. You're trying to have trouble holding the brake pedal down by yourself. You position the brake down, and you put your jack stand on it. Hope that the jack stand stays enough. Now it doesn't want to work. Okay, so I got my, my jack stand on my brake. I want to check my taillights. Oh no, it's dim. But this one's bright. What the hell? They're multifunctioning bulbs. So I realize that depends on which way you stick the bulb in. So if you get in that dull light, I said just keep your gloves on, take your bulb out, flip it, because you'll notice that the pins go at two different angles. Flip it, put it back in, tighten it in, so you find that little latch that it goes into, so it doesn't fall out on you. And that's it. That one's bright, and that one's bright, and now, when I take my jack off the brake pedal, and I put on my headlights, or put on my running lights, that should be nice and dim like it is, and that one's nice and dim. Now we're getting somewhere, right? Okay, cool. So now we're seeing similarity. So it's always good, if you, especially if you're changing them both at the same time, to make sure that you test your light bulbs before you put the housings back on. So my lights flash really quick, which is really strange. I've yet to figure that out. I think it's because that other bulb is out over there. I don't know, because the front end is blinking. You know, I got side marker and this is going. I'm working on the other side. I can't get the screws off of uh, anything over there because some idiot wants to use a crazy gun. But at least I got a turn signal here. I didn't have a turn signal before, which uh, stopped me from doing a lot of things with my truck today. But yet, that's blinking, but it's very dull. But it is blinking. And like I said, I'm working on trying to get these screws out. You can see how this is a little floppy. But uh, that's number two quick tip of the day for the tail light bulbs if you're switching them out there is they actually do make a difference on which way you put them back in I was like oh no it's out that's right I'm testing the other turn signal almost have like a coronary there all right sweet so yeah seeing that there's two different pins on them there's a low one and a high one depends on which one is which it doesn't say it on here and it's not gonna say it in there so the best thing to do is like I said just uh, Turn your lights on, put your park, parking brakes, you know, your regular light switch for your headlights and your, or your parking lights, and see how they look. And if one's bright and one's dull, then you know that the dull is for the parking and the brake lights are the bright ones because you want them to be brighter. Because there's two filaments inside, like this one you can't see, but if you look inside the bulb, there's two filaments. You see the one on the top and one on the bottom? So one is brighter than the other. So one stays on when your running lights are on. And then when you hit the brake lights, the other filament goes on. Unless I lost you guys there. But that's really it. Now I'm going to put my covers back on. And uh, see if I can get that off. And if not, oh well. I'll come up with something else. Later, guys.